I've been coming to the polyclinic since the 70s. But now, ever since I moved into my son's flat, it's even more convenient because it's across the road. You know, I feel we are so lucky. Wherever we live, there's sure to be a polyclinic near us. Compared to the old days, the polyclinic is now so different. Today I can get an x-ray, see a doctor for my diabetes, have my samples taken, visit the dentist and collect my medicine all at the same time. It's like a mini hospital. They even put up big charts on the wall to show BMI, high blood pressure, so elderly people like me can pick up important health tips. Now, I have no excuse not to take care of my health. The best part of my visit to the polyclinic is feeling like there's a whole family of doctors, nurses and staff looking after me. I enjoy my job because I can make people feel better just by smelling or listening. As the first person they meet, I try my best to make them feel at home at the clinic and know where to go and who to see. They have so many worries on their mind. Not feeling well lah. So scared people don't understand them. Lucky I can speak some Cantonese, Teochew, Hokkien and Malay. I can be a translator. I try to make their visit as comfortable as possible. Ah, Susan, hi. Can you bring Mrs. Quack to the lab? Okay, okay. Mrs. Quack, I bring okay, you I'll see you next week. Bye -bye. During my time here at the Paul Clinic, I'm proud to say that I've been a part of the many transformations that have taken place. Caring for my patient is more efficient now, especially the elderly ones with chronic needs like Mrs. Quack. I have a great team of nurses and allied health professionals to work with, dietitians, physiotherapists, psychologists, each one of us contributing our skill sets to help her manage her condition better. Collaborations with other medical institutions save my patients a lot of time. In some other clinics, they can sit down to a video consultation with eye specialists from the hospital without even leaving the clinic. I often think about Mrs. Quack's family how important it is to have trained family doctors who can address the broad needs of everyone from herself to her three-year-old great-granddaughter. That's why I help to train future doctors. I want to share my knowledge. Often, I find I learn as much from the younger ones as I teach. Hi, Dr. Steven. Stephanie Shakila here. Hi, Shakila. The blood result for Mr. Sundram is already back. I suppose we have a meeting with the team to discuss the care plan for him. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow to discuss further at the meeting. Thank you. My role as a nurse and health educator allows me to really feel like I'm making a difference to my patients. I have this patient who didn't understand why he had to change his diet because of his condition. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Yeo. But when I took the time to call him to motivate him to stay off sugar, he really started to change his eating habits. They may think that I nag all the time, but I have their best interests at heart. As part of our commitment to empower patients, we have an aging in place studio at one of our clinics. This is to teach caregivers and patients to prevent falls and make their homes elderly friendly. I'm glad we have trained professionals to share this knowledge with caregivers in the community, especially as our population ages. Knowing I can make a difference to someone's life with every single thing I do, that's all the motivation I need. I think it's simply in our DNA to care. Mr. Go, how are you? Doctor says I'm good. 
with everyone here looking after me. I know my health is in good hands. <laughs>